Hi guys, hello and welcome to another C Sharp tutorial. In this tutorial, we will take this example that you can see in front of you that is displaying the output in columns and we will make some improvements to it. We're gonna, uh, we'll be adding some calculations to it, uh, displaying the output of that calculation and also I'll teach you how you can convert an output into currency format. So let me show you what this output looks like right now before we get started so that you can follow through the process. Here you can see uh, that we have some IDs, some names, and the sales. Right now the sales is in decimals but does is not in the currency format. Also we will be adding the total of sales and we'll be displaying it at the end of the column. Okay, so let's get started. In order to calculate the sum of sales, I need to introduce a third variable called sum. It's always a good practice to initialize your variables that you will be using later on for calculation purposes. Now that I have the sum variable declared and initialized, I could very well add the two sales to this variable. So now sum actually holds the sum of the two sales. Now it's time to display the output. As you can see, all other columns are the same format as uh, the first column is 6, the second column is 20, the last column is 13. I will just copy and paste the same idea here. But what I want to do different is this. In my case, my first column will be empty. The second column will hold the text total. And the last column will hold the actual total that is calculated. If I want my total to be right aligned versus left aligned, I can just drop the negative sign and I'm going to be left aligned, uh, right aligned. Now let me run this so that you can see how it looks like. So as you can see, total is right aligned versus this whole column is left aligned and sales come right underneath it. Okay. Now what I will do next over here is that I will convert each one of the sales amount and the sum to the currency format and it's very easy to do in C Sharp. All you need to do is you need to call on the number, uh, each of the number variables, a two string function and in the parentheses you need to call the code C for currency and we will repeat the exact same process for sales two as well as sum. And when we run it, you can see that everything has been converted to the currency format. Next, what I would like to do is I would like to add a separator between the columns and the output, uh, between the data and the output, to just give it like a report kind of a look and feel. You might also receive these in your assignments to do. So let me create a blank line here and let me add the two lines of dashes. So let me run it again so that you can see the output as you can see. Um, I can add one more dash to cover the leftmost for the total. Okay. So this is something that you can adjust according to the values or you can always write a code logic. But since this is so much like it's just a beginning, so I don't want to complicate things too much for you guys. The idea is that you understand versus complicating things for you. So here in this application, we not only displayed the output in columns, but we also converted the values into currency format and we added a line separating the data from the total or subtotal. Uh, you probably uh, can use this in generating reports. Hope you would have enjoyed this tutorial. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe and comment and let me know if you uh, want me to cover any particular tutorials. Take care. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.